Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6546 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So let's take a look. 20 moves only to clear out 158 jelly and open up four of these licorice shells. But the good news is they're already slightly popped. They're popped once. We have to hit them each twice. We've got ticking time bombs over here, but we also have a stripe dispenser. We've got these sugar chests, but we've got sugar keys in a fairly open area. Yeah, all we need is four, and the four are on the board, although this one's yellow and isolated. We've got a frog. So we need to try to fill her. Uh, right away, I'm going to make either this move or this move. I'm going to go this move because I'm trying to bring more orange into play over here. I've got this key to collect. I'm going to try to drop a green in. There we go. Oh, hold on. I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do this. I've got a little bit more open, but this licorice means that anything I do here isn't going to get through that licorice. I'm actually going to do this. That, that striped wrap isn't extremely helpful based on where things are. I think the deal is I need to fill that froggy, right? There we go. So she's filled, and now I'll be able to move her over here. I think that's crucial, is collecting this. Should I do this first and make a wrap? I kind of think I should. That's a pretty big deal on a board like this, to get a wrapped candy there. So now I set her here. I can't reach her anymore. I can try to take out these uh, time bombs. But I also want to hit these guys. If I can hit these guys, I might be able to get a color bomb, color bomb combo. That would be nice. Can't reach that froggy unless I get a color bomb. And I've got these set up to give me color bombs if I can get them open. So I think I need to make stripes over here. Now that the licorice is gone, I can make things over here that might influence the rest of the board. But I also might be able to make things in here. I've got this big area. I've got a lot of green. I'm trying to get that together. Okay. Ah! The green wrapped ended up over here. I've got a wrapped here. I've got a stripe here. Yikes. I'm going to go ahead and make another stripe. There we go. That's what I wanted. And I don't care what color that takes out. Color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. So look at that. Now I can take out all green and hit this. I could take out all blue and get this gone as well. That might help over here. But I like this. I've got this wrapped candy. I can't put that wrapped together, but I can do this. It's going to free that froggy. It's going to open this board up a bit more. Now I'm seeing the problem areas, these edges. This is going to be tough. So I could take this and move it, but maybe I should wait until... No, I am. I'm going to take this and move it. Okay, so now I've got this color bomb. So now I take out all purple. That snaps this, clears out a bit here, fills that frog again. So now I've got this cascade opportunity. I could move this frog. I'm not going to win this time, I don't think. But I'm just going to try to get as close as possible here. And I'm going to try to use cascading to get that done. So I can do a frog move, but I think I'm going to take out all blue instead. What I needed to do is get that frog generating much more quickly than I was able to do. I have 15 jelly and one of these licorice shells left. So at least I can take out the licorice shell. I didn't get any collapsing things happening to clear out any more jelly, but I got all of the licorice shells gone. And I do think that I might be able to plan that a bit better in the future to get two licorice shells open at the same time and get two color bombs next to each other and take out a layer of everything on the board. I'm going to aim for that, but I'm not going to waste turns looking for that. I'm only going to aim for it if it looks doable on a particular level. And I'm going to also remember that sometimes a board like this is volatile, and so I might try to set something up and it all might explode before I get there. I'm going to try not to let that get me disappointed. I'll pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off initially, but once I solve this, I will come back through and narrate everything for you. 
Here we go. We're going to collect those keys if we can. There's another key to collect. And then there's that green key. Now we have to get to that yellow. That's going to be hard to reach. I can make a collarbone though. Let's do that before we look at the frog. I can't. Hmm. I can't touch orange, so let's do the frog this way. Oh, that's nice. We get a stripe from the frog and another stripe from the frog. And look at that. We've got a color bomb opened on that uh, far left side now. I can reach that key by sending that frog over there. I've got two color bombs. I could take out all purple and fill the frog again. But I'm going to hold on, and there we go. We've got that beautiful wrapped candy there. I'm going to try it there. Beautiful. Oh, and there goes a couple of stripes. I've got color bombs on the board uh, in that line. I can't quite get to them. I'm thinking about taking out purple now to fill that frog. Maybe the frog can help me open some things up. Yeah, I think so. And help take out some of those, at least one of those ticking time bombs. Boy, now I can't reach green for the frog. I can't. I've got that blue. That's dangerous. Maybe I should fill the frog again. There. Now I've got that blue set up. I can use that stripe to take out that time bomb. And now I've got green in the way. Oh, hold on. Look at this. I can take out green and put these two guys together and fill the frog at the same time. Oh, remember how I talked about everything could be volatile? Look at that. It all goes. It all goes. But it's taking out color. It's clearing clearing this area out. There goes another color bomb. Wow. Okay. So I've got the frog, but I also have the opportunity here to make a stripe. I'm going to do this instead. And they don't line up. Should I send out I'm going to move the frog. I should have moved that orange wrapped up, although it did the same thing. But now look at this. I've got this corner area. I can take out orange with a color bomb. That's all I can do. I can't take out anything else. I could make another color bomb, though. And I can take out purple now or blue to try to fill the frog. I'm going to do purple. Maybe that was the wrong choice. Because now I still can only take out orange instead of green. What I need to do is set this off and hope, there we go, green is the most prevalent color on the board, so that got collected. So that's what I chose to do, is use that color bomb in a way other than just matching it with the color, since that still didn't work. The good news is, even though I got a little bit of luck at the end, uh, the good news is that was only my second try. I, I don't think I played it cleanly. I don't think I made the best choices going through uh, there are things that I saw that I, I maybe could have done differently and, and probably better. But it was only my second try, so I didn't have to worry too much. I think it's a fun one. Don't let those ticking time bombs get ahead of you. And focus on the corners where you're going to have a hard time getting the jelly out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.